Bharati. Welcome to all to this math video session. In this video, I am taking a topic of trigonometry. In that trigonometry, the foundation for all the uh, identities or all the competitive examination question is nothing but the square identities. Square identities. Square identities are also called as uh, Pythagorean identities. I repeat, square identities or Pythagorean identities. So, what are those Pythagorean identities or square identities are nothing but this one. Sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. That is the first Pythagorean or square identity. Secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. That is the second one. Cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. Is the third square identity. Alright. If you check it out, I will let you know in a different way that if you take sin as the first, cos as the second, third, tan, cot, sec and cosec. Alright. If you check it out this. The first identity, the first one is dealing with set 1. I like to call this one as the set 1. Sine and cos is dealing with the set 1. Right. Later on, the second square identity is dealing with, right, if I knew the order, if I knew the order, if this is the first, if this is the second, third, fourth, fifth and the sixth. Right. If you think about that one, the second square identity is dealing between 3 minus or 5 minus 3 that is the logic there you are supposed to remember it's nothing but 5 minus 3 right odd number minus odd number is nothing but the second square identity right that is secant square theta minus tan square theta fifth one minus third one now in the same way if you think about to the third square identity it's nothing but sixth minus four right these are nothing but the even numbers and the even positions these are nothing but the odd positions right whereas the first one it's nothing but first plus second first plus second whereas second is nothing but odd numbers fifth minus third and the sixth one is nothing but uh, the third one is nothing but six minus four cosecant square theta minus cot square theta you can remember this one also like this it is like something like c minus c you have to remember this one right c minus c if you remember the third one it's easy for you to remember the second one so i said you these are the three a square identity is what you have first set sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one the remaining all the second and the third one the second one is going with the odd numbers fifth to minus third that is secant square theta minus tan square theta and whereas the third square identity is dealing with the c minus c the bigger spelling right minus the smaller one so cosecant minus cot is equal to one cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to one now in this video i am going to derive that how did you get the side first identity second identity and third one i'm going to derive it for you so let's go on all right consider let's go on with the question here consider right consider a triangle consider right triangle abc consider triangle abc right angled right angled right at the b let us take it that is we are considering a triangle right angled at the b okay now let's draw the figure in for you right i'm taking a right angled triangle right what he says right angle triangle at the b so right angle at the b okay that is the first point and we are taking one more that is something like angle a is equal to theta right so here we are taking this angle as theta which is nothing but a are you sure so guys this is what so consider we have taken a triangle abc of course a is done b is done obviously this is nothing but c right we have taken triangle which is a right angle right angle that b and a is equal to 90 degrees now according to the pythagorean theorem as you all know according to right whenever we are uh, talking about uh, uh, right angle triangle we come across a uh, pythagorean according to right pythagorean theorem right we have Right, according to the Pythagorean theorem, we know hypotenuse square is equal to, right, adjacent square 
plus opposite square. This is the Pythagorean theorem what we have. Right, right. Okay, which is the right opposite of what and adjacent of what? If this is the theta, adjacent means beside one. So, this obviously to this angle A, this becomes adjacent side and the opposite one this is becoming opposite and obviously you know this is nothing but hypotenuse okay now let us write as according to the pythagorean theorem let's take the labelings of that one what is hypotenuse hypotenuse is nothing but what we got ac square is equal to adjacent what is the adjacent side ab square plus what's the opposite side pc square Okay, this we got, it, which is nothing but the Pythagorean theorem, what we have learned. Now, now, we are starting the actual calculations now, right? Now, divide, divide, right, LHS and RHS, LHS and RHS by side BC right are you able to understand or you can take it as bc square right dividing lhs of the pythagorean theorem and rhs of the pythagorean theorem by bc square like let us consider this as equation one okay now what is there actually right no instead of bc square we take it as something like ac square which is nothing but a hypotenuse square now we can write what do you have can i write this one as like this ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square what we have now the lhs is this and rhs is this i like to divide both the sides with the ac square dividing by ac square and dividing by ac square okay we got this one now if you split to that one which we are getting it as ab square by ac square right plus bc square by ac square is equals again ac square by ac square right if you check it out i think and i can kiss right away cancel this and we'll be getting it as one okay now if you go for the other calculation if you check it out what do you have so it's nothing but ab square plus ab square by ac square plus bc square by ac square is equal to one what we got it's fine it's fine now wantedly i'm writing it as ab by ac whole square plus bc by ac whole square is equal to 1 okay fine fine now what is ab by ac what is ab shall i call it as ab is nothing but adjacent of theta by what is ac it's nothing but hypotenuse whole square yes you have it plus what is bc what is bc shall i say it's opposite of theta by hypotenuse right so equals one yeah now as you all know what is adjacent of theta by hypotenuse called we all know so cos theta is equal to adjacent of theta by hypotenuse as we all know can i call this as cos theta whole square right in the same way what is opposite what is sine theta we all know sine theta is nothing but opposite of theta by hypotenuse so what is opposite theta by hypotenuse it's nothing but sine theta whole square equals one now if i make adjustment can i write it as sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one yeah so what we can say this is nothing but square identity one is derived this is how we are going to derive what's that what's that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one which is nothing but the first identity i like to repeat we have taken the triangle abc right right angle let the b and angle a is equal to 90 degrees now when we are dealing with pythagorean the right right angle triangle we always come across pythagorean theorem so what is Pythagorean? Hypotenuse square is equal to adjacent square plus opposite square or you can write it out opposite square plus adjacent square it doesn't matter. Now whatever right I have labeled it now that uh, 
hypotenuse whatever is there i have divided lhs and rhs with ac square now it get cancelled i got it as one but ab by ac is nothing but adjacent theta by hypotenuse which is nothing but cos theta laid on opposite of theta by hypotenuse is nothing but sin theta so cos square plus sin square or sin square plus cos square it's nothing but our first square identity of the topic so everyone so now i am going to derive you the second square identity what is the second square identity what we are having so we are supposed to plan to secant square theta minus tan square theta is the planning for me is equal to 1 i like to derive this one okay that is the concept now as you know right angle triangle according to the pythagorean theorem adjacent theta square plus opposite square is equal to hypotenuse square let us label the parts adjacent is nothing but ab square plus opposite is nothing but bc square is equal to hypotenuse is nothing but ac square till here we are fine now let's divide let's divide the numerator all the lhs and rhs with the adjacent side that is what i am writing here dividing dividing right lhs and rhs right by right by what's that ab square right let's divide both lhs and rhs by ab square let me divide that one now so if i go with that one ab square by ab square if you get like this now let me split to that one to all what we are getting ab square by ab square plus bc square by ab square right is equal to ac square by ab square this is what what we are having now right if you simplify this ab square and ab square gets cancelled we are getting it as 1 now it's nothing but 1 plus right can i write this as bc by ab whole square yeah plus can i write this as ac by ab whole square very good okay till here i am done with that so now let's think on here so we are having its one no issues plus what is bc by ab what is bc called as bc is nothing but opposite of theta by what is ab 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 is nothing but adjacent of theta whole square this is what we are having is equal to i repeat what is bc bc is nothing but opposite of theta by what is ab adjacent of theta whole square equals what is ac ac is nothing but hypotenuse by what is ab adjacent whole square okay okay now if you apply the rules of the trigonometric ratio what do you call as opposite of theta by right adjacent of theta we know that we know this one already we know that what's that opposite of theta by adjacent of theta is nothing but it's nothing but tan theta this is the rule what we have already known so which is nothing but 1 plus this becomes tan theta whole square now in the same way hypotenuse by adjacent we should know all these things that is hypotenuse by adjacent of theta is nothing but hypotenuse by adjacent is nothing but secant theta so here it is becoming something like a secant theta whole square okay now what we got 1 plus tan square theta right is equal to secant square theta which is nothing but the second square identity but of course of course we can write this like this if you send send this one to the other side 1 is equal to secant square theta minus tan square theta or straight away you can write this as secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 that's nothing but our second square identity secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 only simple logic take the pythagorean theorem right what we have secant secant is nothing but hypotenuse hypotenuse by adjacent adjacent and adjacent if you focus on this one adjacent and adjacent what is adjacent side 
write AB, therefore divide by AB on both the sides, that is how. So what we have to remember is adjacent, adjacent is what? AB, therefore left and right side or right hand side and left hand side divided by AB, simplify, we get that one. Let's derive the third derivative now. So according to the Pythagorean theorem, what do we have? Adjacent square plus opposite square is equal to hypotenuse square. My target is square identity 3, what is that? Cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. This is what I am planning to. You have to know what is cosecant theta. Cosecant is nothing but hypotenuse by opposite. That you should have an idea before. And what is the meaning of uh, right? It's cot. It's nothing but adjacent by opposite. This is what you have to remember. Now, what is there in the denominator opposite? What is the opposite side here? It's nothing but PC. Keep it in your mind. Now, obviously, what is adjacent? It's nothing but AB square plus opposite is nothing but BC square is equal to hypotenuse AC square. Now, I'm coming back. What is there in the denominator? Opposite side. What's there in the opposite? BC. Therefore, dividing by BC square on both sides. That's the logic on both the sides right so what i'm doing dividing by bc square divide by bc square here and divide by bc square now shift to right to spread that one so ab square plus bc square plus bc square by bc square is equal to ac square by bc square hope you are able to understand it's a cool stuff Right, now if you cancel these two, what we'll be getting? So here I like to write it as AB by BC whole square plus one. Here, here we are getting it as AC by BC whole square. Is it cool? Right, now let us go for what is set there. Right, what is the meaning of BC there? BC by AB, what is, what is AB called? AB is called as adjacent of theta by BC. What is BC called? Opposite of theta. Of course, whole square plus one is equal to AC. What is AC called as? Hypotenuse by what is BC? BC is called as opposite whole square. Okay, just now I said to you, what is, what is adjacent of theta by opposite is nothing but cot theta whole square plus 1 is equal to hypotenuse by opposite is nothing but cosecant theta whole square. Okay, now let us spread it out, let us spread it out. Can I write this as cot square theta plus 1 is equal to cosecant square theta. This is cool, but you can write like this. That is, you send that one to that side. 1 is equal to cosecant square theta minus cot square theta or cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1, which is nothing but square identity three hope you understood that's a cool stuff which one what is there in the denominator opposite who is opposite bc divide by bc on in this channel i have been placing both math and science videos 